is about to happen to you. Turn to the other neighbor and say, my neighbor, my neighbor. God, God is about to favor you. So get ready. Amen. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. I want you to open your mouth and thank God. Say something to God. I don't want you to ask anything from God by opening your mouth and bless his holy name that God has been good to you. He has been great to you. He has covered you. He has preserved your life. Somebody open your mouth and bless his holy name. Father, we give you praise. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your favor, your grace, and your glory. Somebody open your mouth and bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your strength. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. We are all welcome to Power of Worship. Our wow service, Wednesdays of the Word and Warfare. Amen. Never miss this service. It's the first of its kind in this part of the world. Wow service. Somebody say wow. Wednesdays of the Word and Warfare, W-O-W-W, -W -W. Amen. And all the people that were coming to church house, I traveled, may God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. And those who couldn't come to, may God bless you, Amen. So that next time you can come, Amen. And my mother is here, clap your hands for my mother, my biological mother is here, Amen. God bless her for coming in Jesus' name, Amen. My friend Marvin is here, clap your hands for my friend. Amen, 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 amen. And one of our protocols in London Prayer Center is here. Baba, clap your hands to the name of the Lord for coming here. Amen, amen, amen. And everybody here, clap your hands for yourself. Clap your hands for yourself. Amen, amen. How many people enjoyed the service whilst I was away? Very powerful services. I really watched everything. Uh, you know, let's clap your hands for all of them. they done very well. God bless you. May you continue to do great things in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, this is our amount of supernatural. Somebody says supernatural. supernatural. If God permits, the sermon I'm about to preach today on, on Saturday, I'll continue. And also on Sunday, I'll continue. I don't want you to miss any of the services. And by the grace of God, next week is our all night. Don't miss the all night. Make sure you come very early. And God will bless you. And don't forget your oil that has your name in it. Amen. Your oil that has your name in it. Amen. Let's open our Bibles while we stand on our feet for the reading of the word of God. The book of Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14. Just giving you part one today. Saturday will be part two and Sunday will be part three for the same message. Amen. Matthew chapter 14 verse 22. Amen. Amen. I read. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat. Give me KGV so that there's a word that I like over there. Because the KGV will let you know that the disciples, it was not their intentions to go into the boat. Jesus forced them. Amen. Because sometimes the KGV will give you some illustrations. So look at it. It says straight away, Jesus constrained. Constrained simply means he forced them. Which means they were not ready to get into the boat, but he constrained them. So Jesus had to force them. Is that okay? In, to get into the ship. To go before him to the other side. While he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away. He went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the, mount, and when the evening was come. He was there alone. Jesus was there alone on the mountain. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. So right now the ship was not at the shore. Whether the beginning or the end of the shore. The, the ship was in the middle of the sea. And all of a sudden, waves started tossing, for the wind was contrary. The wind was blowing against the ship. Now, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Look, it's a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Sometimes what you're afraid of is about to save you. Oh, oh, the one who said the loudest, amen. amen. And straight away, Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. 
And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if thou be, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. And when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Amen. Amen. Help me to give the title of my sermon, my A of this particular sermon. Look in the face of your neighbor and say, my neighbor, neighbor. get ready ready. to walk walk. in a place place. you have never walked before. before. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. I want to pray this wonderful evening for the next few minutes using as a subject, you are walking into a place where you have never walked before. I want everybody to understand that anything you see in the Bible is never a story. The Bible is never a storybook, but the Bible is a book of revelation. The assignment of the Bible is to direct us and show us what we can do. Jesus Christ came as a sign for all of us to follow him. So um, before he was born, in the days of Isaiah, Isaiah said, Now the Lord himself will give you a sign, and the virgin will be with a child. Speaking about virgin Mary giving birth to Jesus. So if Jesus Christ came as a sign, then everything he was able to do, I'm supposed to follow it and also do it. Now when you are traveling all the way from Accra Mall to come to Testimony City, by the Accra Mall there, you see a sign over there that will tell you Spinter's Road, and it will tell you the, the number of miles for you to get over there. When you see Spinter's Road written on the board by Accra Mall, and you pick the signboard with you, you have never picked Spinter's Road with you. What you only saw on the road is only air. So if Jesus Christ came as a sign, then it means if I follow Jesus, I can get to my destination. Now listen, so if I follow Jesus and I can get into my destination, then I'm supposed to follow and know everything Jesus Christ did. And if I can know what he did, God will give me the power to also emulate and I will get to my destination. We get to the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse of 22. And the Bible says, one day Jesus Christ constrained his disciples. Now it's chapter 14, verse 22. Now before you get to verse 22, you're supposed to see what happened in verse of 1 up to verse of 22. The verse of 1 around that time was when John the Baptist was beheaded. And the second story over there was when Jesus Christ fed 5,000 people, 5,000 men, with five loaves of bread and two fish. And after eating the bread and the fish, Jesus told the disciples, get into the boats. All the disciples have been excited. They've been so happy because Jesus has worked a great miracle and they are enjoying the miracle. And all of a sudden, they didn't know that the next verse was going to be an issue. That's the principle of life. Anytime your life begins to move forward, anytime you begin to see good things happen to you, sometimes get ready for a storm. The reason why many people, when they get to a storm, they're not able to come out of the storm is because Whilst they are enjoying, they forget that a storm is just on the corner. But when a storm shows up in your life, it doesn't mean Jesus doesn't love you. But it helps you to know who Jesus Christ is. Because the disciples knew him as a one who would be able to multiply bread. But they didn't know him as a one who can walk on the water. So God had to create a situation so that they would know that. He says, you're not only going to follow me because you can get something to eat. But I want you to follow me because a day will come that you go through some storms in life. Sit down for a minute. Sit down for a minute. Many people in life right now, they, they, they think if I, if I can follow Jesus, if I can go to church, then I will be able to get bread to eat. But getting your bread to eat is only one level of where you are going. Because for you to know the power you carry, it's about the storms you have endured. Don't tell me you are powerful if I never endured any storm in life. Those of you here that for the past five years, five past months, you've gone through some storms. I came to let you know that there's something that you carry. There is, I said there is something that you carry. I said there is something that you carry. 
and the Bible says, and Jesus Christ constrained them. The word constrained them means he forced them, which means they were not ready to enter, but he forced them. If he forced them to enter, then it means there was something he wanted them to know. If he forced them to enter, oh, okay, I like this one. Okay, if he forced them to enter, and he knew, Bible says God is all-knowing, he knew there were storms in front of them, then if God starts me on a journey and there's a storm in front of me, I'm not supposed to worry. Because if he's the one who forced me in the boat, he'll be the same one to force me out of the storm. Somebody get ready. You are coming out of every storm. You are coming out of every issue. You are coming out of every storm. Shout away. Shout away. Sit down for a minute. Now, he forced them into a storm. And the Bible says the moment he forced them, hear me, he forced them, he constrained them, and he told the multitude to go. Multitudes were there because they have just finished eating bread. But for the disciples, he said, I want you to get into a boat because there is a storm. Why did he dismiss the crowd? But he told the disciples to get into the storm. It means he knew that a day is coming that my disciples will be persecuted. My disciples, after I'm, I'm dead, I've resurrected, and I get into heaven, mm, a day will come that Herod will try to persecute them. So I need to train them so that when they go to the issue with Herod, they'll be able to withstand. Most of you, the battle you are going through today, God is preparing you for the next five years. Because he knows where you've been the next five years, the next five months, the next ten years. Get ready. If you are going through a storm right now, there is a sign something wonderful is ahead of you is there anybody in here that believe that there is something wonderful ahead of them i came to let you know something wonderful is ahead of you sit down so he will tell someone say preach daniel i'm trying my best so if he if he dismisses the crowd and he puts the disciple in a storm, then he me it means he knows where they are going. Number two, it means the disciples can take it. If he knows you cannot take it, he will never put you into that ship. Why did he dismiss the crowd? But for the disciples, he put them in the storm. Most of you begin to ask yourself. Only me, my life, from the time I was born, from one battle to the other, one battle to the other, it means you are not part of the crowd, you are a disciple. Oh, can I speak to some disciples over here? I said, it means you are a disciple. Listen, no two destinies are the same. The battle someone else is going through is different from your own battle. So don't look at someone else's battle and begin to ask yourself some question. You are different, you are different, you are different. Slap your neighbor a high five uh, and say, my neighbor, uh, you are different different huh? slap your neighbor and say my neighbor huh? you are huh? oh maybe your neighbor doesn't believe you say my neighbor huh? i am i am different sit down for a minute in my last 10 minutes in my last eight minutes listen he takes the disciples and the bible says and he forces them jesus do you actually love me yes but why are you forcing me into a storm the answer is very simple. He's saying, Daniel, I want to let you know that number one, I'm the same God who can tell the storm to keep, to keep quiet. Number two, I want you to know I'm the same God that can walk on the water. Because all these times, they only saw him walking about in Galilee and Capernaum. But they, they never did it know he can walk on water. Now, why did Jesus Christ walk on water? Can I tell you? Because anytime you are on the sea and the storm and the wind is coming, guess where it comes from? Where, where does it come from? When there are waves on the sea, where does it come from? It's like, you know, you know, you know, uh, which child said the water? Which child? You, you become great. Because when you get to the sea and you see the waves, it's coming from this water. So Jesus Christ said, 
the storm that you are afraid of. If I want to stop the storm, I will speak to the storm, but I will go to the source of the storm. Somebody get ready. Jesus is about to fight the source of the issue. Oh my God. Because when you fight the, storm, the, the source of the issue, you have the power and the ability to speak to the issue, and the issue will become quiet. Slap your neighbor and say, My neighbor. Uh, say, My neighbor. Say, My neighbor. Oh, say, My neighbor. Jesus is coming after the source. Sit down. Now, my last six minutes, hear me, my last six minutes. Jesus Christ forces the disciples into a ship. And the Bible says when the storm started coming, it's very strange. Because when he forced them into the shape, the Bible says, and he went to the mountain to pray. Sometimes you might think that Jesus Christ doesn't have good sense of humor for your life. Because you know storms are coming and you leave me alone. Because if storms are coming, Jesus, if you put me in the boat, you are supposed to also come in the boat. But Jesus, you put me in the boat and you go away from me. He was showing the disciples a sign that you might not see me around your storm, but I'm looking at you from a distance in your storm. Is there anybody here that for some time now, sometimes you feel around yourself, there's no Jesus around you. No, no, listen, don't be so sanctified on me. I want you to be true to me and also to true to yourself. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you see how your life is moving and you ask yourself, is God actually with me? Am I a prayerful Christian? Sometimes what you are expecting, you are not seeing the manifestation of your expectation. We get to ask yourself, is Jesus actually around me? You may not feel him around you, but I came to give you good news. He's watching at you from a distance. He's seeing you from a distance. He's looking at you from a distance. From a distance. He's watching over your life. From a distance. The grace of God is coming over your life. Shout from a distance. So now for a minute, my last four minutes, hear me. So he puts them in a ship, but he runs away from them. And running away from them, when the storm started, the Bible says the disciples started panicking because at least they know that if Jesus is there, he can do something. The Bible says when the storm started, all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, now the Bible says on the fourth, somebody say on the fourth watch. One more time. One more time. Now, let, let me explain to you what is a fourth watch. Now, the Jewish people, they divide their time, their clock, into four watches. Now, the fourth watch of the night, uh, now let me explain to you all, all, all the watches of the night. From 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. is their first watch. 9 p.m. to 12 midnight is second watch. 12 midnight to 3 a.m. is the third watch. 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is the fourth watch. So the Bible says, Jesus, in the, the time they were in the battle or they were in the storm, it was on the fourth watch, which it was between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Which means it was a time of quietness, a time of darkness, a time where everything was quiet. The Bible says, and all of a sudden, the Bible says, and Jesus was walking from a distance. When the disciples saw, saw from a distance, they started screaming, oh, we have seen a ghost. But little did they know that the ghost they were afraid for was the same ghost that was about to change their lives. Listen, most of you, you begin to complain about, about things you have not seen yet. You begin to complain about the unseen future. 
you are here today in the month of July, but you are crying about December. What will I enjoy in Christmas? Hey, you are not already in Christmas, but why are you afraid? Jesus told me to tell you, uh, don't worry about the things you have not seen. Uh, but he is preparing something on your behalf. Uh, sit down for a minute. Uh, little did they know that when he was walking on that sea, uh, he was only stopping the issue from the source. If they knew he was stopping the issue from the source, uh, they would have been happy, but they were crying about something they've not seen. They were crying about their own miracle. Can I tell somebody good news? The Lord says what you have been crying about. The Lord says what you have been crying about. It's about to turn together for your good. You look back one more time and say, Am I the same one that used to cry about this issue? Oh, do you know that maybe some years ago, you used to cry about a landlord and why you were being a tenant. But don't worry, in the next five years, in the next two years, sorry, in the next one year, you look back yourself whilst you are in your mansion. You begin to ask yourself, Am I the same one that used to cry about? being a tenant uh, and Jesus will tell you uh, because you were crying premature uh, don't cry about some issues uh, because he will fight on your behalf uh, somebody get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready what you are afraid of is about to bring you your miracle uh, what you are afraid of uh, is about to bring you your testimony what you are afraid of uh, God is about to do something unique uh, somebody say I am the one uh, so I am the one uh, you are coming out of your storm. You are coming out of the issue. God is about to fight on your behalf. Lift up your right hand and say, Preach Daniel. I'm trying my best. My last one minute. Hear me. Sit down. Sit down. Now, listen. Listen. I told you I'm giving you only part one of this message. Now, look at the good news. When they cry, we've seen a ghost. They heard a voice from afar, and the voice said, don't worry, it is I. Jesus didn't say, it is me, Jesus. Oh my God, this, this is the best, best to hear the best word of God. Oh, I said, Jesus, because Jesus could have said, hey, Peter, don't worry, it is Jesus. No. He says, don't worry, it is I. Okay, okay, Prophet Daniel, what is the meaning for Jesus saying it is I? Can I explain to you? He, he, he said to them, he didn't mention his name, but he said it is I. Because he wanted them to know that. The storms you are going through, Peter, it's not from the enemy, it's from me. Peter, it's not from anybody. But I wanted you to know that I have the power to destroy the storm. Today, hear me, I came to disgrace your enemies. It's not everything that is the devil. No, I said it's not everything that is the devil. Sometimes, we've been giving some, the devil some credit. In this small thing, the devil. In this small issue, the devil. Hey, Satan, I came to tell you uh, all the issues I was going through. Uh, hey, it was not you. Uh, but Jesus said, uh, it is I. I wanted you to know uh, the power I carry. Uh, lift up your right hand uh, and say, it is I. No, 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 no. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down for the next 30 seconds. L listen, listen, listen. S sit down for the next 30 seconds. Okay, number two, Prophet Daniel. Why did he say it is I? Um, God, hear me, God does not have a name. Okay? Okay, anybody who tells you God has a name, God does not have a name. Because the word God there in the Hebrew, that is Jehovah, is not a name. It's only an attribute we give to him. Because he is big for one name. So let me explain to you. Why does God, God, God don't have a name and we call him Jehovah? Because the word Jehovah is, 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 simply means an all-powerful being. And when you call God an all-powerful being, you have called him with a mediocre name because he's more than powerful. Yeah. Now, one of the great fathers of the faith by the name of St. Gregory of Nisan, he said, God can never be defined. And the best definition we try to give to God is a mediocre definition. So now, why is God's name not Jehovah? Because it shows part of him. So sometimes when the people of Israel, when they want to get peace, 
They go to God and God said, my name is called Jehovah Shalom. God is your peace. Sometimes when they need healing, he says, my name is called Jehovah Rapha. I am your healer. So I'm not having one name. I can be your healing. I can be your lawyer. I can be your doctor. I'm all damn powerful. I'm more than enough. So don't restrict me into one box. There is somebody in here. Maybe you need a financial breakthrough. He says it's your El Shaddai. There is somebody in here. You need God to give you victory. He says I'm your Jehovah Nisi. The Lord your victory. So don't box God. Only in one thing. He's more than enough. Somebody I'm done. Slap your neighbor a high five. And say my neighbor. In the month of supernatural. Say in the month of supernatural. God is more than powerful. Be on your feet, I'm done. Be on your feet, I'm done. On, on Saturday, by the grace of God, I, I will show you why did Peter have to walk on the water. And on Sunday, I will show you why you too, you can walk on water. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the issue here, somebody asked the prophet Daniel, you want us to go and walk on water? Like when something came on the social media, a pastor wanted to walk on the water. And the pastor drawn, listen to me. My assignment for you is not to walk on your water, but it's for you to walk on water. Amen. I said, my assignment for you here, get a revelation, is for you to walk on water, but also not walk on water. In other words, anything that is an issue, when you see the issue, you close your eyes and walk on that issue. <laughs> that I w- okay. Because according to Archimedes principle, a law of flotation and gravitational force, you can never walk on water because your weight will sink you down. But Jesus Christ was saying, the reason why I walk on water is because all these laws of nature, I'm the one who made nature. So if I made nature, all the laws of nature, I'm in charge of the law. I can break the law at any time. Somebody get ready. God is breaking protocols in your family. I said protocols in your family. Somebody shout, break. Break. Listen. Listen, one law of nature is for a, for a woman to give birth. It's for a sperm to hit the egg. But God says, I will break that protocol. How did he break it? He said, I will look for a young girl by the name of Mary. Who is a virgin and I will let her give birth without a sperm. He can break that law. Huh? Somebody said, break. Break. Oh, maybe in your family, th- th- there's a law over there. Huh? They are saying that the only way you can prosper is for when you are over the age of 45. Huh? Or when you get to the age of 60, you are supposed to die. Huh? You are going to break that law. Huh? You tell the demons in the family, hey, huh? I'm from a different breed. Huh? I will do something so unique. Huh? Listen to me, maybe there's a law in Ghana huh? that says when you are a young person, you can't prosper. It's only 60, 70 people huh? that can become presidents and they can become millionaires. Huh? You are about to walk back right more time. Huh? You will go to your bank. Huh? You tell them of your tail to check your balance. After they check your balance, the girl at the tail will ask you one question. How old are you? You tell them, hey, why do you need my age for? And she'll say, for all my days of working in the bank, I've never seen a 25-year-old. I've never seen a 30-year-old do this kind of transaction. And you tell them, I'm more than the law in Ghana. Because the Lord who sits in me, he is bigger than that law. Shout bigger God. Bigger God. Listen. Listen. We came here to shame the enemy. That's right. The enemy doesn't have power because we have seen the Lord at work. Listen, anytime you wake up in the morning, don't look at your current circumstance. Look at where you are going. Amen. Look in them in, into your mirror. When you look into your mirror, see your future. That's right. You look in the mirror, you prophesy to yourself. And say, wow, that's the greatest man on earth that's standing there. Oh, if you're lady and you're not, you just say, ah, that's the latest bride in town. Because God will favor you. If you are unemployed, you look in the mirror and say to yourself, the latest CEO by Yami, 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 get a catch. After you look in the mirror, after you say that to yourself, get out of the house and make a move. Because before Peter walked on the water, Jesus said to him, make a move. Tell your neighbor, make a move. 
listen you have sown every seed ha. you have eaten every communion ha. you have prayed every prayer but you are still sitting down there from today make a move if you can make a move something will happen listen we came on this land we came on this land from from our first service when we are driving and we are going we, we, we used to get issues service time is when they will park cars over there outside there i woke up one day one early in the morning i came to walk over there and i said god what will you do god said daniel what do you want i said god you want to take it god said daniel if you want it i've given it to you yes. listen to me if you don't know if you don't know by the grace of god technically on paper we own that place yes. oh i know why you're not clapping because you you you, 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 you didn't support you didn't so so you're not clapping you are ashamed of yourself you're not clapping you see you're not clapping because you are asking yourself, you didn't support, but right now we owe. So it's like, what's it? Clap your hands for, for God. Listen, listen. Don't look at where you are. Look at where you are going. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. We are about to pray. We are about to pray. God will change your level. I remember, Ezekiel, do you have that picture for the young, young man that will pour the oil on him over here? That picture. One young man, last year poured oil over the young boy over here and I said to him and I gave him my chain and I said this chain I've given to you the next place I want to take it from you is in America yeah, yeah. I poured oil on him prayed on him and the Lord said Daniel give him your chain and you'll meet him in America yeah. we went to America to go and go, go, go and do a program oh Charlie <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> what was the first picture e. this the young man Poured oil on him, gave him my chain. I saw him in New York on my program. Where, where is it? Where is it? Look at him. Well, listen, listen. One word from God can change your life. Yeah. If you see somebody doubting the power of God, tell them to come and try testimonies. That's right. That's right. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. We are about to pray. We are lifting up three prayers unto God. The first one is that God, the storm that I'm in, do something for me. Amen. Say by fire. By fire. Okay, let me give you good news. I just heard this in my spirit. Just Rema. The Lord said, Daniel, if I'm the one that put them in the storm, then let my people know that they will not die in the storm. Amen. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Amen. Oh my God. I just felt in my spirit. The Lord says, if I put them in that storm, then they will not die in that storm. Amen. Mama, you will not die in that trouble. Amen. Sister, you will not die in that trouble. Amen. Lift up your right. Say by fire. By fire. In the storm that I'm in. in, storm that I'm in. Oh, God. oh God, rescue me. Rescue me. Oh God, oh God. I, know I know you have an expiry date, an expiry date. On, that storm. on that storm. Somebody pray right now. Let God rescue you. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray right now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of God. May you come out of that storm. Yekaya Tabayaba. Yandanaba Sakataya. Randa Kabaya. Yekaya Tabayaba. In the storm. In the storm. In the storm. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Come out of the storm. 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 In the name of Jesus. May we be delivered from the storm. May we come out of the storm. In the name of Jesus. Say by fire. Oh God. Rescue me. Rescue me. From the storm. Your second prayer. Now listen, 
you will not die in the storm. Amen. Amen. But you come out with a testimony. Amen. Say any premature death. Any premature death. Waiting for me. Waiting for me. I reject you. I reject you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I stop you. I stop you. Say any premature death. Any premature death. I reject you. I reject you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I stop you. As I clap. As I pray. As I pray. I'm not dying my storm. Somebody pray. I stop every premature Do not die in the storm. In the name of Jesus. Listen, this is your last prayer. Lady, this is your last prayer. Listen. No, no, we have to do another prayer. I feel the spirit of prayer in the house. Listen, this is your next prayer. Do you know, do you know, do you know that when Jesus Christ told Peter, walk on the water, guess what? The Bible says, because I told you that anything you see in the Bible has a revelation. Jesus Christ said, okay, come. And the Bible said, and Peter came out of the ship. Logic, common sense, critical thinking will tell you if he was trying to walk on the water, then he came out of the ship. But why did the Bible tell us? Am I making sense? Because he walked on water. Why did the Bible say, and he came out of the ship? It means in life, for you to do something you have never done before, come out of some relationships. Come out of some friendships. Come out of some partnerships. It means for you to do what you have never done before, disconnect yourself. Because some people were doing their own traveling, but when a guy, crazy guy by the name of Jonah entered into their ship, they were in trouble. So if, it's a, if it's a, a wrong person is in your ship, your ship will sink. But if you leave the old shape, you can walk. Amen. Lift up your hand. We are about to pray. We are about to walk out of some ships. Amen. Listen, any ship that is keeping you behind. Jesus. Any ship that is troubling you. Jesus. Say by fire. By fire. Any ship. Any, any ship, ship that is not part of my destiny. That is not part of my destiny. I come out. I come out. Any ship. Any ship. I disconnect. I disconnect. Any ship. Any ship. That is not part. Is not of, part. My of my future. My future. I, disconnect. I disconnect. As I clap my hands. I clap my hands. As, I pray, As I pray. Somebody come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of the ship. Come out of the ship. Yeah, 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 yeah
In the name of Jesus, shall I come out? I come out. Listen, don't miss Saturday. Don't miss Saturday. Don't miss Saturday. 7 a.m. to 11, we are done. Sunday, don't miss it. Lift up your, your last prayer. Now listen to me. Listen. If he puts me in a ship by force, and I go through a storm by force, it means he wants me to get a reward. That's right. Listen, you can't go through an issue and come out the same. You're about to pray that God, of all the battles I've been through, give me a compensation. Amen. Because God, you made them to go through the storm so that they will know that you are a God who can speak to the storm. That's right. Jesus, he always gets a purpose out of every issue. We are about to pray right now that by the mercies of God, Jesus, God, Jesus. in this season of my life, Jesus. give me a reward. Amen. Because listen, after coming out of all your issues, God is supposed to honor you. Amen. You can't come here and pray against devil, 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 devil. Okay, after praying against devil, what will I eat? Lift up your right hand. And listen, it's good that we've made a prayer to disconnect from every evil shape. Everybody, everybody is blaming the police officer. Everybody is insulting him. But before you insult the police officer, you, also, you, also, you are supposed to also ask yourself, why was he there at that time? Number two, why did somebody bring their issue to him at that time? Yeah, we can insult the police officer. Yeah, what he did was uncalled for. You can't beat a woman. Wrong. But let's also speak for the police officer. Maybe he has a, an issue with temper. But I don't know if he didn't know. There are, listen to me, I can boldly say out of about 200 people here, about 150 people here, when somebody even do you something small, you can even slap the person. But when you see you and you are dressed as if you are very, you are an angel. No, I'm going to say the truth. You have a witness in the house. Listen, everybody has their bad side. And everybody has their bad day. But your prayers are God. Don't let me meet my devil on a particular day. That's right. Lift up your right hand. Nobody will pray this message. Everybody will pray about a policeman. Guess him. Yeah, they didn't do well. But do you think in his right sense, he can just do that? For all you know, he had not been paid. Because that, that bank is having some issues. Anything you see, get into the details. Lift up your right hand. Right now, the lady too, the way she's granting interviews, I seems like you're cancer now. Lift up your right hand. It's a whole lot. And somebody also preach for the woman. Out of your battle, God will favor you. <laughs> Lift up your right hand. Lift up your hand. Say, oh God. Oh God. Honor me. Honor me. Honor me. Say, oh God. Oh God. Give me a reward. Give me a reward. Out of my battles. Out of my battles. Give me a reward. Give me a reward. By your power. By your power. By your strength. By your strength. By your grace. By your grace. Give me a compensation. Give me a compensation. Whatever that belongs to me. Whatever that belongs to me. I receive it. I receive it. Somebody receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. We receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive. Open your twins. Open your twins. Open your twins. South, I receive it. I receive it. Father, we give a praise. Listen, God is supposed to honor you. How are you? Are you the police officer, right? How many people remember this police officer? He came to one night one day, you can go. In the course of the prophecy, I, went, I didn't know him from Adam or Eve. As I see you a police officer, and two people are after you. And the Lord used, and then he said, prophet, call, call your name. Because that was his first, time over, his first time over here. 
And I called him the two names. He said, wow, prophet, I know them. I said, let's do a direction. Something will happen. When we did the direction, when he went home to tell the wife, the wife said, ah, I've been suspecting that particular guy. When we did the direction over here, that other one fell down, collapsed, and started confessing that I've taken your photo to different places. That's not a lie. He said, he's a police officer. Listen, God will never disgrace you. Yeah. I saw another soldier man at the back there. When we started the church, I think after one month, one lady brought him, he brought him here. And why was he here? He said he's the, he is the one in charge of transfers, you know, money transfers for, you know, when they go for de deployment. And he was trying to do a, um, a transfer. And guess what? Hackers and uh, scammers came in. And he, he um, wrongfully transferred $250,000 into a wrong account. He's here. Boss, you know what? In your testimony, we were here. And the orphan in Albitria. Transfer to 50,000. He came and said, Prophet, I'm down. They have taken everything away from me. They, they are putting him on in a suspension. Then I asked him one question. I said, Do you know about it? Because maybe you know about it. Maybe some move first or fall. Do you know? He said, Prophet, before God, the man, I don't know. I was even transferring, no, not knowing, he said, Scammers. I said, Where did they trace it to? I said, Italy, Mr. Semaba. Italian mafias. And, and, and I asked him one question. I said, do you believe in the power of God? He said, that's why I'm here. We prayed with this some directions. I said, because of the issue that has happened, God is going to cause you to know some of your bosses who don't like you. He said he was there. Some of the bosses will come. Rawata, they take a, they He was down. Because they have to put him in, um, he said military police if he came in. Because listen, they will say, say you know something about it. Because he sends their money and everything or come in refuge. We prayed within the direction. After some time, he came. He said, Prophet Daniel, I have a testimony. How? He said, we are able to track and we have caught the people that took the money and we have retrieved the money. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. No, oh, look at the way you are clapping. Your name is Oh, look at the way you are clapping. After the testimony happened, I told him, God wanted you to know people who hate you. He said the way his own people, they did to him. And I said, we are sick. I prophesy Oh, those who don't understand my Latin, I just say, you not be in any issue. May God take you out of trouble. Charlie, when money like that vanishes, you can't get it. They were telling him, you know something about it. Boss, come. The way we've been putting this offering, come give me oil. The Lord says your battles have come to an end. Who, 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 who brought him here today? You brought this man. He has come out of every battle. Amen. Battle, biara, you did not too. Man, taka, taka, baya. When I was speaking about the police officer and how people you've been good to, they can be evil to you. The Lord is saying to me that that has been your story. You've been good to people, you've been kind to people, but they have been so nasty to you. And the other thing I saw was that I saw an angel that was pouring oil on him. The Lord said, this man will do the work of God. Amen. And he will be a preacher of the kingdom. Amen. But that's why everything around you for some time now, everything has vanished. But look at me. Your story is changing. Amen. I said your story is changing. Amen. There is a battle in your father's side of the family. And that battle's assignment is to make sure that if you're a man, you can prosper. You will work hard, you will force, but later you will come down. And you have been trying as much as possible to break that cycle. That's why every battle is coming around you. But if I'm a prophet of God, Charlie, sit down and let's have a chair. Sit down. Listen, if I be a prophet of God, let today become the end of every battle, every end of every issue. Let the glory of God, let the fire of God fall right now. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. fire. The Lord says he's going to link this man to one particular guy. The name of the guy this man will be linked to be called Richmond. Richmond. Oh, Richmond or say. The Lord. He's called. You move. 
and you know, I'm missing or the link, you know, I'm a rich man. So, which means you meet a rich man that is wealthy, and because of the name connection, or because I say, you're from rich man, I prophesy, may you meet somebody Amen. that has the Jesus. Sister, professor, sister, professor, sister, oh, wait, let me come what it. Do you know what I saw? I saw this lady walking on the road. On the road she was walking on, I saw, do you know avocado, avocado? Uh, pear. I saw a lot of avocado. Now we'll pick it. Oh, you pick avocado, sir. Now I saw many people standing there and they folded their arms and they were saying, oh. say, I don't know, no, All of a sudden, where you are picking out of avocado, I saw there were a lot of vehicles and so many things over there. I saw a lot of containers. And the Lord says, I don't know. I don't know whether you or anybody connected to you have worked around clearing and pot agent before. Because what do you do? That's all you do. Come. Because I see her getting opportunities. And two people have sat down. And what they have said is, why is she getting opportunities? We will paralyze her. Sister. Amen. Where do you clear it? Where, where do you do it? At the pot. Listen, in the realms of the spirits, give yourself what's today's date? July, right? So, so, July is okay. Listen, this year, especially from the month of February coming, from the month of February coming, before last, before this year, let's say from 2015, 2016 coming, things were moving, but from this year, early part of the year, there has been some challenges. But the Lord says from this day going, something is going to happen. Because what they plotted against you, that's why of late, when you wake up and you're about to go to work, as your own person, because if you are not feeling comfortable to go, in the spiritual realm, some people thought you were in competition with them. But unfortunately, only when you competition, you are just busy doing your work and God is blessing you. That's why they want to torment you. Listen to me. Sika won't can be that and never be kind. Amen. The things you don't do for me, nobody can do. Say, the miracles are in my way. In the blue my mind, don't. Nothing compares to you. Don't worry. All night you will sing more. All night. Listen, tell your neighbor, don't miss all night. Don't forget your bottle of oil. Sister. No more attacks in your dreams again. Give me oil. Father, bless her. And this is the time why God wants to honor you. The only thing I will tell you is this. The only thing I will tell you is this. Don't let people that sometimes you trust know your stuff. Because I've seen myself in the family house. I saw some of them were older than you. But when you got in, everybody got on their feet and you sat down. And all of them were clapping for you. But out of the clapping, some of them were not happy. In your family, say we need more, we need more. Namia yo kesiye, and sa kesiye ne dao sunini no. Sometimes you are not careful. You might believe say as you be a pewasem sister, and you be a pewasem. And the connection of that thing I saw at the port in the, in the church of them is the connection between your family and some colleagues, some people that work over there. But ene makasasi namia kwa. Amen. I don't do cause confusion, but one of them is from Eastern region. I know kana makam. Come, say one of them is from Eastern region. I didn't say. Stretch forth your hands towards her. Say by fire. By fire. Oh, your fire was weak. Say by fire. By fire. Sister Bra. Those who are not clapping, look at you. Oh. Sister, I will let you only do one thing. I will let them open the door. You go to the wall out there, touch the wall seven times, and you come back. You tell God, say, whatever has been chasing you today, let that thing leave you alone. Yeah. Listen, 
this is your season of reward, but it has become your season of your greatest talent. But the Lord, by his grace and by his glory, the Bible says, God will not do anything until he reaches the servants, the prophet. And the Bible says, God reveals to redeem. God is causing you to be rescued. Give me your right hand. Give me your other hand. Your other hand. Father, Jesus, whatever challenge, break in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not lose. You will not lose. You will not lose. You will not lose anything. Jesus. Evil eyes. Evil tongues. Against you. Your destiny. Against marriages. Tormenting people. And against your health. Today, Father, remember her. They can never sabotage her again. Let the glory of God. Let the glory of God. Let the glory of God fall. Father, deliver your daughter. This one is the daughter of Abraham. I speak your deliverance. Amen. Sister, where direction? And let a radiage. You are out. W- wondering, wondering, wondering what has come out of my life. But sister, one issue is that in Kofobia no media grow about five years ago. No me dragging. Clap your hands to the Abi, yeah. Jesus. Sister. But all you need be in my mommy. If I be in my mommy. Amen. God will elevate you. Father, I speak. Right now, wherever you walk, will be empty in track you. Amen. Nobody can track you. Nobody can follow you. Amen. Your footsteps are ordered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let the angels of God Jesus. be on assignment. Yes, Lord. Father, I give you praise. Amen. Young men, you are all wearing the same dress. Wow. Are you in like an organization? Why? What, what, what organization is that? Uh, Amputee football, football team. Yes. That's amazing, wonderful, wonderful. How did you get here today? Um, Talk to me. How did you get here today? Uh, I met you in a meeting before in New York. Wow, you came to my meeting in New York? Yes. Wow. Yes, I'm a man of God to God. A man of God. Then you came. So these are your team. Wow. So you manage them. Oh, clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Well done. You have given hope to them. You have given hope to them. So you, they go and play tournaments. Yes, sir. Maybe a school dance. You have tournaments. Yes, sir. Tournaments in Mexico. Wow. So you're going with them to Mexico. Wow. Give me oil. Let me pray for them. Jesus. Amen. Father, give a praise. Can you all come and let me pray for you? Bring them and let me pray for them. Help them and let me pray for you. Yeah. Father, I give a praise. Yeah. Sister Fansa, mommy. May God remember you. Father, remember your daughter. Father. Father, remember them by your grace. Jesus. In Jesus' name. You take um, white handkerchief and give it to me. I'll do narration for you in the course of next service. God is with you. Your victory has started. Amen. If God is God, you will testify in Jesus' name. Go. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Sister, you can go. Baby, oh yeah, you know. Go and take soil. Go. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Somebody begin to wave your hands. Begin to wave your hands and say, I am blessed for three times. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. One more time. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. For the last time. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Young man, Lift up your hands. Father. Pray for this young man. Bless him. Elevate him. May you order his steps. 
Let him enjoy everything you have said about his destiny. Father, I prophesy the shining star and the light that is in him that will make him the beacon of light and hope to the nations. Let it appear. Let it show up. Let him be celebrated. Let him enjoy every good thing you have said about his destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, I give you praise. Young man, you are born a leader. God will cause you to lead people. God will favor you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And do you know what I saw? I saw myself in Asante region. Asante region. And when I saw myself in Asante region, I saw that in the spiritual realm, you have come out of a net. The moment you came out of the net, you were running very high. Listen, the place in Asante region I saw myself is around Bremai area of Kumase. By the grace of God, you have come out of everything. Go and ask. Many years ago, some of your people were connected to that particular side, Asante region, Bremai area. That's where you come from. There's a net that you have come out of it. And as you came out, you were going very far. Amen. Anything that used to block people, you, you are out of it. Amen. You will succeed and you will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know something. Be very careful. Be very careful. We are in the month of July. July, August, September. 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 Be careful. It's very simple. Some people, I don't know, but you are going to be invited to a club. As a semo professor. Menko. Who said professor? Menko. Don't try club. Media, I will not say before or after. By September, the men try. Minyameka just said men try club. By September, the men are there. Men try. Because now, it's where your light is going to shine. But I don't want any unfortunate incidents to happen to you. But I've delivered you out of it. Amen. But just be very careful in Jesus' name. Because star be up, star net down. So you 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 were born with 17 stars. Amen. The one on your left here on Kwan is 17 stars, and the one on the right is seven stars, making 24 stars. The stars on your forehead, they are 24. All of them, they have written on it asabre. 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 One different asabre. It's true, I'm a sabre. My eyes are and the club no. Men try. Men try. Men call. Why? The one sit down. Your prayer. Wow. Check, let's stretch forth our hands. So you've you started a team with them. You've done very well. Twenty of them. Wow. Ah, Father, I give you praise. Ah, Do you know what I saw? I saw say. There is a star from me, and I talk so. Jesus. And the star from me, you know, me, me, w- w- what is my name? Daniel. Star, ever talk about Daniel. Why friend Daniel? Why friend Daniel? Yes, Lord Daniel. Over here, suffer. Come and see what the Lord has oh. done for me. Hey, he has taken away my sorrows and now I'm free. Hey, 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 say, I got me, but hallelujah, but say, hey, say, I got me, but hallelujah, but you say, because of Jesus, I'm living in as I got a day, do the thing, the double, the double, the heavenly blessing, I ain't got to receive. Ah, what do you raise a message? I raise a foot. A one, a two, a three, you say, I ain't got to see me, he has given me victory. Come on, the God has given me victory. Listen, obey of Cassia. Listen, go and mark it on the wall. You will become a great preacher. Amen. <laughs> Only a team, the captain. <laughs> Do you know what I saw? When this young man was born, at the age of one year, seven months, three weeks, two days, professor, 
no one auntie ever visited woman. Was ah, what kind of great person? And What kind of great person has been born in this family? The only thing the person did was that the person had a handkerchief. The handkerchief I see right now was gray, red, and white inside. And he gave it to the guardian, mother, that was taking care of it. He said, oh, I hear you, not the piano, for cleaning. But not any handkerchief. The assignment was not for him to be amputated. The assignment was for him to die. On can't say why. They won't go through. No, never go. Never saying go. But in the spiritual realm, and Sebi da brand Jesus. Jesus. Oh, those who are clapping, and Sunny be in toss. I said, those who are clapping, and Sunny be, and Sunny be, and Sunny be, and toss. And Sebi da so. And because of that hand that is on him, be being timinyano, obey na miye juma, be wadi be sira, no be bone bo ora be biya, be wadi sambe bless him. Amen. The whole world, the whole world, the public telling him. Amen. Go and mark it on the wall. We see we know him in New York. We see him in New York, but when I don't see you in New York, we see him in New York. Me who New York? Me who California? One and two. I'm walking in power. And then New York over there. New York. Because I'm going to go home. And then who's there with me? Prophet. Ah, are you more? Are you program? I'm going to buy. And I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. And then who's there? But I'm going to go home. Clap your hands. Because, listen. Because although he was saying New York, but the angel was taking me to California. Oh, do you know I just saw? Who person called California? I'm going to say I give Natos. Amen. I take it. When I said California, no. Muna, all of you. You 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 went on your feet. Now me took one and one behind me. Look at them. The, the, the next California, they shouldn't be on your feet. You people will be on your feet. California. Na mo no mo ya California mo jako. Na mi mi tu konya wan e be Hey, Jesus Christ. Opa ni ni na mi be shrau. Na mi be shrau. David, David, come on, say, if you come on, say, it means global. We are too global to be local. We talk much global. Amen. is is on a desk in front of some white people. Amen. Some of them are in California and some of them are in Florida. And you are looking for sponsorship. The Lord says as you are here, he is going to approve it for you. Amen. Yes, Lord. But the only thing the Lord is saying to me to tell you is that when the opportunity comes, the reason why the money and every opportunity is coming is because for you to help people like this. Don't charge them before they join. The Lord says if you charge them, you will be lose. Brony Bible, Edward Williams. The house number is number 7889. That's right. The wife did the LC. The Pope. The Pope. Father, give a praise. Father, remember. Amen. Young man, the castle obey, obey a big businessman. Will you believe me? Obey Jedi, bra. Obey so a big businessman. Business Jedi, man. Obey so a. Obey so a span. Logistics, which means clearing fleet. Obey bomb pay the amount. And I'm not sure pay that what. Oh my Matthias. Bompai said, when your money comes, your mother will be there to eat some. That's the only issue. Oh, my God. Yeah, bruh. Now, I'm going to go. 
because you see kabam mami nya bi how long has she not been feeling well for some time now when was she in the hospital two weeks ago amoje na to how long how many days two days jesus before no me busa question what is say wa kwa yi bia na wonim say wa kwa yi bia because because at the end see you know e see wa yi bia say o ma me kwa yi bia e bia wonim say wa kwa yi but wa kwa yi bi o kwa yi ni match o kono he kwa ah jesus e hono mo finish ya de bra bra clap your hands to the name of the lord hey boss e say o ba da me Two weeks ago, now they be about sorry. The first time I've been here. Now then, and then, when I was in the bar, what is that? My bentia now. Okay, okay, no make a cry. Okay, but they are sure. Amen. Oh, I've been here now about sorry. No complain. Father, I give you praise. 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 Give me your mommy. Father, I give you praise. Father, I speak with him. Take your mother's photo, Nefabra. Um, um, the next service. Why? No, direction in your phone. So. Why picture just print in the fabra? Sir, I don't want my mother Your mother was attacked on the funeral grounds. If you like, go and ask your mother. From that time, okay, you know, they want to know that. If it's okay, you know, buy the beer, me ha, me ha, me ha, me ha, me ha. Me wa. They want to deal with you. Somebody shook the hands of the mother. See, ne ni seeking ne panin or the one. Seeking pa, it was not seeking. It was injection. Seeking, it was not seeking. It was injection. Do you come from Nigeria? Come. Seeking, it was it was needle. All the prayer people after church, I will meet you people. You have to pray some emergency prayers. Amen. But today, Father, you will to redeem. Okay, my mom and pai mami nyanyo. Father bless them. Father bless them. Father bless them. Amen. Listen, I'm Mr. Munina. Amen. I'm Mr. Mokesia. Amen. Who feel on? Mamu so much love from Pong. From Pong, Father, we make him want so much love. Watch it. I'm Mr. Munina. Bless you. Go. I'm waiting for you. Bless you. I'll talk to you guys after service, okay? So when are you going back? End of next month. Which means every day you'll be in this church. Always, this is the church you come. Wow, ma, my job pastor. Let's stretch forth our hands. Say we cover the mother. We cover the mother by fire. By fire. As a young man, I pray for you. Jesus. Father, let him succeed. Amen. Let him succeed. Amen. Let him succeed. Amen. Bless him. Jesus. And expand him. Amen. Take wrong people from him. Amen. Elevate him. Young man, and one or no. And the and will free hair corner. Will life are changing. Amen. You see me again and you testify. Yes, yes, yes. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Soon yes, I say to marry no Sarah no way me from soon in a refuel. Eh, I don't know. Mama Sebi. What I need me to be what you do. I say when the moon yum, no matter how dear you sorry to me, no, I am a man. Hey, 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 I want to know. Say yes to me, mommy. What's the yummy bunny now? What's the yummy so? Ready, 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 ready. Hey, hold on, I'm on the CD. Yes, you know I am. It's too many ways to die. Say, on your me baby. When you be in the be our yard is for flow. You are not all your soul, money, but to do, need to me so. When you be a young man, you may be not. When you be a young man, when you be a young man, 
in our child, no. Say, I can say my post what you need. If you have been yet in the crow, that goes to yet in your people. Far up on your name, I'm your deep. I can say my post what you need. If you have been yet in the crow, that goes to yet in your people. Far up on your name, I'm your deep. Say, <laughs> Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. May you come out of your storm. May God give you reward in the name of Jesus. Give me the envelope. Come on, take your shoe for me. Take off your shoe for me. Somebody will tell you that follow him and travel to Togo. The person is somebody that anything he tells you, you get reward and resolve, so you follow. Do not go to any Listen, from, from this time on, if you, if you walk into the church, put your phone on silent. I don't want to be strict. Put your phone on silent, okay? Don't. If you follow this individual to Togo, it's for improvement, but it will not be for improvement. But he's been told to bring someone, and you are the one he's looking for to bring. Are you understanding my language? Don't. The person will first suggest the me, but the me will not. You will not, but he will tell you to go. That will be your end. Don't. And God, by His power, will preserve you. May God order your steps. May God take you from wrong locations. May God help you. May you walk according to the dimensions of Jehovah. May you not swerve to the left or on the right. But what is about your destiny? May you follow through. Do you know that since from the day you were born, from the time you were young to this time I'm talking to you, every day when you are there, you know that one day God will use you to do his work. It is something that has always been in you. But the devil wants to serve you on the left or right. But what Tell you about don't miss the all night. Our time is up. We need to go. God, that thing is inside of you. But in the same way, too, there is a quest for you to make it. So sometimes you want to do everything to get there. The Lord says, if you can follow his ordinance, my brother, God will surprise you. That star, that greatness you've been looking for, for God to put on you, so that in the family you'll be honored. The Lord says, if you can follow him, he will favor you. Yeah. Be careful of it. Forget about any place they will tell you to go. Because the reason is because of late, things are not working well for you. Nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. Right now, when I tell you the amount of money you have right now, it's like, it's like somebody has, it's like, it's like your money is vanishing. It's like everything around you has gone off. But it wasn't like that. The Lord wants to catch your attention. The Lord wants to catch your attention. 
that's why when you are up there alone, you feel a lot of attacks all around you. The Lord is catching your attention. Come and help me. Don't cry, my brother. The Lord says today is your day of salvation. The day of your salvation. If you can follow after God, God will remember you. Nothing else. Everything about you is going downhill. And you know, that is the end. The Lord says he made sure it comes the end for you. But that was not the end for him. So that out of your end, he will bring a new beginning. Amen. And he will change your destiny for good. Amen. May God remember you. May God help you. Because I see that, I see that you are pushing hard. Because I see that there's a construction. There's a construction like something like a building you want to venture into. And that's why you are trying to push every left and right center to enter. The Lord says take your time. Because it's between what you are looking for and your life. And if I were you, I would choose life. Because when I have life, I'll get everything I'm looking for. May God remember you. Any evil parts that has worked for you before, that now is coming against you. I stand as a prophet. I stand in between. Because we're in the testimony city. May that evil part never find you. May that evil part never find you. May that evil part never find you. God is able to do. Boss, boss, if you sing, I'll promise I won't stop it. You take seven bottles of oil, bring it to me, I'll pray on it, I'll break it for you, and God will help you. Listen, a day will come you will testify that as you put your trust in God, He has changed your life for good. Amen. You are a blessed man. You carry greatness. You carry greatness. Today, as I put this oil in your soup, I prophesy, your life becomes new, Amen. new beginning. Enjoy the Lord's blessings in Jesus' name. Three weeks ago, there's amount of money you are looking for. All of a sudden, the money never came. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that $25,700. That the Lord says he made sure to swear you so that you will change and run after him. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Sad professor. Anybody looking for some of this grace, receive it. Oh, receive it right now. My brother, it is well. God will favor you. You'll get a miracle. You get it, get this. Count 50 for me. 40, 50. This morning, tomorrow, look for five people. Okay, I'm coming. One, two, three. Okay, get this one. So that it should be five. Give me my own. Get it. Tomorrow, look for five people. When you meet them, people that you meet, make sure you don't even know them. That's it to them. Ten, 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 five people. My brother, after tomorrow, you will see what will happen. Go. Onise, Iyanu, do you want a God of us someone the song? Tasted of your power. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody sat down and said the storm is over. Storm is over. Storm is over. The way you said it, I didn't feel. Say the storm is over. Storm is over. Is what do you do? Storm what do you do? Sit down. Sit down. What do you do? Which which bank? Aku bank. Wanyo doba. Mami ajua. Hey, madam. Oh, I I catch your baby. I miss you. I can't catch you. Baby, I'm here now. Or the other one, sorry, one can't show. I'm here now, baby. May God cover you. May God preserve you. In Jesus' name. We need honey, honey. I'm not the honey I'm bringing. Why? Me ya do diya na. Me, we do honey new year. Me can't send you a pattern now. Why? You're frozen. Okay. So the phone honey ne bring me. Now my car seems to be a fatten now. Why? Now everybody stretch out your hands. Say by my seed, by my, seed. My, level my level is changing. Everybody put your hand down and listen to me. Your seed changes your level. Your seed changes your destiny. I've always told you, don't let anybody pump you up. Don't let anybody force you to give. Because your giving is where your miracle is. This church will never force people to give. But after every prophetic meeting like this, your destiny is supposed to change by the seed you give. Wherever you are, Come and take from my hand. Help me. Take some in your hands. 
come and help me. I want you to take a seed. Hear me? Either 500 CD, Jesus name. CD, 200 CD, Jesus name. CD. How long were you married to Rainfall? 10 years. For about 10 years. 